What's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the Cincinnati Bengals franchise. You're on Madden 21 Next Generation, and today we start the playoffs. As you can tell, our Bengals are the one seed in the AFC postseason. A lot of wild card games to get through to see who we will face. Let's get into this thing as you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content. It is literally all we do here. And the Bills get a big 43-35 win at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. Then it was the Colts with a huge home win against the Baltimore Ravens. One AFC North team down already, 35-17. And then the Raiders come up with a little upset win on the road in Denver with a huge fourth quarter comeback. 22 to 19 so we will take on the vegas raiders bills will host the indianapolis colts in the divisional round over in the nfc the rams get a road win against their division rival in the seattle seahawks the seven beating the two and then carolina able to stave off the Minnesota Vikings to win 25 to 17 and move on. They will host the Saints who came up with an overtime road victory in Washington against the football team. So a divisional matchup there between the Panthers and the Saints, but we have the Vegas Raiders coming into Cincinnati, Ohio. Joe Burrow had a great season this year. We have had a really nice year as a team and we are looking to push forward looking to go for back-to-back -back super bowls we will have to hold off Derek carr in this offense 30 touchdowns 13 interceptions for carr on the season josh jacobs going wide left on a third and two with 9 15 to go in the first quarter carr gonna throw the slant route henry ruggs breaks free from the would-be tackler isaiah norton will not catch henry ruggs and he is gone for the first touchdown of the day like a girl in a country song, as my boy Nitro Drive would say. Go check out that YouTube channel. Link in description. Next Gen Stats. There he is. Derek Carr to Henry Ruggs. It didn't take much. Just a little slant route. And Henry Ruggs off to the races as Jair Alexander just didn't know what hit him there. 22 mile an hour carry speed. Over 50 yards after the catch. Henry Ruggs killing it. And let's see if Cincinnati has what it takes to come on back. T. Higgins with a nice grab there at the 33-yard line. A third and one. And there goes Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon hits the spin move and gets across midfield to the 47-yard line. A beautiful 19-yard run to start his day. Second and four, Burrow going to roll out to the right, and what a throw. T. Higgins has made a couple of grabs already, and that one for 21 yards. Here's Burrow again. Burrow looking up the middle. He finds a wide open Newman, and Newman will get to the three. Newman has been a really nice receiver for us this season. Here on first and goal, the give to Mixon, untouched into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Bengals even this thing at seven apiece. Here's Derek Carr. Play fake over to Jacobs, and he is hit in the backfield by Josh Willis. Our big-time young end making a huge play. Third and 16. Here's Carr tough in the pocket. Hit as he threw, and that one is out of bound. So Bengals take back over with the football. 5-15 to play. First quarter up the middle. The Newman, what a grab at the 32-yard line. 77 yards passing for Joe Burrow already. Here's Burrow looking, finding Meekins, and Christopher Meekins steps out of bounds with another Bengal first down. Now on third and goal, Burrow going to roll to his left. Burrow stops, fires to Jonu Smith for the touchdown. And the Bengals take the lead just like that. This team can strike hard, strike first with no mercy. They didn't strike first this time, but they are coming back with a vengeance. Third and two, Josh Jacobs with a nice run to the 49-yard line. And the Raiders looking to move their offense along here on this drive. First and ten. Here's Carr up the middle. He's got rugs. This time people are there to tackle him. That time it's Fred Warner. Now on third and inches. Carr going to give this one to Jacobs. He will pick up the inches and make sure that the Raiders get a new set of downs. That'll end the first quarter. It's 14-7, Bengals on top. We'll be right back. 
Back for the second quarter. First play of it is going to Jacobs up the middle. He's touched a little bit, but nobody there to bring him down, and he gets to the 13-yard line with a first down. Here on third and 10, here is Carr throwing left side. Ruggs incomplete. Raiders settle for a field goal attempt. And it is good, 14 to 10. Here's Burrow standing tough. He hits Jonu Smith on a seam route. And that's across midfield to the 48 yard line here in this second quarter. Bengals looking to score for a third time. We'll see if they can do that on this drive. Here's Joe Burrow on second and nine. Burrow dropping back. He's gonna throw up the middle and look at the grab from Newman. What a game he is having. A 20 yard catch there for Newman. Number 11 is coming up big in this game. Third and four, here's Burrow looking left side. He finds his man T. Higgins. No first down though, settle for a field goal attempt and the Bengals regain their seven point advantage. Here on second and one, here's Carr looking up the middle and that is incomplete behind Hunter Renfro. On third and one, they'll give it to Josh Jacobs and he will find his way to the 49 yard line of Cincinnati for a first down. And the Raiders getting where they want to be. Now a third and eight, potential stopping point here, but no, Darren Waller making the big catch on Fred Warner, and that goes for a first down. Second and 10 from the 23-yard line now with 135 to play in the half. Here's Carr looking, and he finds Henry Ruggs on a deep slant in, and that goes for a first down to the six-yard line. Ruggs already 117 yards and a touchdown. First and goal, here's Carr. Dropping back, throwing end zone, back of the end zone to Ruggs. And he does it again. Henry Ruggs has, is having an amazing game, and he's keeping his Raiders in it at 17 all. Third and five, Burrow fumbles. Hit as he's trying to throw it. He fumbles the football. Joe Mixon gets back there to cover it up. But the Raiders would eventually end up with possession here. 49 seconds or from the 49-yard line, just 41 seconds. That's a big throw. Timeout taken. We're tied at 17, 20 seconds to play in the half. Here's a second and three. Carr up the middle, he finds Jacobs. Jacobs running over Dakota Torrance. And that goes timeout right there. Eight seconds left, first down. Here's a second down and 10. Here's a throw through the end zone, but we've got a flag. What flag is this? It is a personal foul roughing the passer on Cincinnati, they call that on Gerard Sands, the standout rookie D tackle, and an easy field goal attempt for the Raiders as time expires in the first half. They take the 20 to 17 lead going into halftime. Is it possible that the Raiders could get an, a second straight upset here as they were able to upset their division rival Broncos in the wild card round? Now they're here in Cincinnati with a three point halftime lead. We'll be back. Winner of this game will take on Buffalo in the AFC Championship game. We'll see who is able to prevail in this battle. 20 to 17, but Cincinnati starts with the ball here in the second half. Here is Burrow. Burrow has nowhere to go with it. Then they get off of Jonu Smith. He's able to make the play and get upfield for an extra good bit of yards as he is 17 yards after the catch on that play. First and 10, here's Burrow. He's going to hand this one off. And look at Mixon, room to run. Easy first down to the 35-yard line. Seven carries for 44, 6.2 a clip. Bengals should probably feed him a little bit more here, but here's Burrow continuing to throw the football. T. Higgins down the field with a first down grab and more. And T. Higgins makes this an easy one. Second and one, easy money to Jonu Smith. Nobody there who could cover him. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals go up 24 to 20. Seven minutes to go third quarter. Raiders with it now with 632. It's a second and six. Carr gonna throw left side. What a grab for a first down. An absolutely amazing catch by that receiver. Third and 11. Here's Carr. From his own 49, Henry pressure up the middle and Carr had to get it away over the head of Henry Ruggs. And incomplete, a punt forced by the Bengal defense. It'll be second and nine. Here's Burrow with it. Burrow looking up the middle. He finds Newman. Newman near midfield at the 48-yard line. And the Bengals looking to complete another really nice drive here. 
They're on their way. Here's Burrow off the play fake. Burrow finds T. Higgins again. T. Higgins has been eating up Damon Arnett all day long. 20-yard catch for Higgins. Now they'll give to Mixon. Mixon gets the edge left side, and he will be stiff-arming his way out of bounds at the 15-yard line. He's got 72 today. Mixon's a little on fire, but Burrow's going to take off left side. Burrow beats the defender into the end zone for the touchdown, and the Bengals extend their lead to 31-20. Here's Carr, though, not going to give up. Gets that one away, and that goes for the first down to the 49-yard line, a 26-yard catch for Edwards, who has made a couple of big catches already. Now second and five. Here they're going to hand it off. Jacobs, Jacobs going for the first down to the 39-yard line. A second and ten on that next series. Here's the throw left side. There is Waller for the first down, the absolute goat. I can't be mad at that as we end the third quarter. 31-20 here in Cincinnati. Third and five. Raiders with it now to start this fourth quarter. Here's Carr. He's got nobody open. Almost a coverage sack. Just tossed it up there. It's incomplete. But the flag, illegal touching on the Raiders. Could have been a P.I. call, but it's illegal touching on Brian Edwards, so that doesn't matter. They would have to settle for three. It's 31-23, an eight-point game. Burrow has Higgins wide open. He turns it upfield, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 30-yard line. With a huge catch, 14 after the catch. Here goes Mixon, who is hot right now, running over defenders and picking up a first down to the 18-yard line. This Bengals offense seemingly cannot be stopped right now. Here's Burrow looking up the middle. He's got Jonu Smith pushing his way into the end zone for the touchdown, and the Bengals extend that lead yet again, as this time it is a 38-23 lead, a 15-point lead. For Cincinnati, Carr underneath throw. He's got Waller at the 46-yard line, under seven minutes to play in the ball game. Bengals can smell blood. They know they could be on their way to a second straight AFC title game. Here's Gerard Sands who hits Carr, and he sails that one over the head of Josh Jacobs, who he had wide open. Third and two for Carr. Again, pressure coming. This time they get the screen off to Jacobs, and Jacobs will pick up the first down. Dirty laundry on the field, and it's another roughing the passer. They're going to call this one again on Gerard Sands. That's his second one of the game. Third and ten. Here's Carr. Carr looking. He's got an open man. That is complete for a first down and more. Down to the ten-yard line, and ten yards from pay dirt feels really good for Vegas. Here, third and goal for the Raiders. Carr under pressure and throws through the back of the end zone. However, field goal doesn't make any sense here. They're going to go for it. Fourth and goal. Carr, left side, caught by Ruggs, who has made so many plays in today's game. And why not make a third? Three TDs for Henry Ruggs. That gets the Raiders just a little bit closer. Eight points down once again. 427 to go in the ballgame. Here goes Mixon. A lot of room to run. Mixon on the first play of the drive all the way to the 41-yard line. He's got 124 yards this afternoon. Second and 13. Burrow rolls a little bit to his right. Gets that away to Janu. He drops it. And there's a flag on the play. They're going to call roughing the passer against Vegas. That one on Shaquille Barrett. And it will move the Bengals to the 29-yard line. Here's Burrow standing tough in the pocket. He's got Newman wide open inside the five to the three-yard line. Burrow with an incredibly played game today. 26 yards there for Newman. And it's second and goal. At the two-minute warning, easy money for Joe Mixon. He will score untouched into the end zone. And the Bengals are celebrating. 45-30, a 15-point deficit for the Raiders. Here's Darren Waller. Darren Waller turning it up the left sideline. Nobody catching Darren Waller, and they have struck really quickly. Darren Waller gone like a girl in a country song, 75 yards downfield. And the Raiders right back into it. Can the Bengals play keep away long enough? Newman drops the ball on third and 12. And the Bengals had to punt it away. 37 seconds, no timeouts for Vegas. What a grab 
by Edwards up the middle. Not a lot of time remaining. Under 20 seconds. There's Hunter Renfro. He needed to get out of bounds. What are you doing? Last play of the game for Carr and the Raiders. Carr going to go short to Josh Jacobs, who is brought down in the open field, and that is going to do it. The Cincinnati Bengals come away, stave off a comeback attempt from the Vegas Raiders. You got to give credit to Vegas, though. 428 yet passing yards. They definitely hung in there. They definitely provided a fight to this Bengals team. Even though the Bengals were scoring points, the Raiders were doing what they could to score right up there with them. But Joe Burrow with a perfect passer rating, 19 to 24 for 329 and three touchdowns. Derek Carr, 25 of 50 for 434 and four touchdowns. So Joe Burrow gets the better of him. Joe Mixon had 153 yards and two touchdowns. He did end up with 22 carries in the game for 6.9 a carry. Nice. Joe Burrow, of course, with his 15-yard run for a touchdown. Ruggs, Waller played extremely well. Jonu Smith with three touchdowns himself in this game. And taking a look at the defense, Josh Willis, the only sack for us. There were no interceptions on the day. There was a forced fumble for the Raiders' Tanner Muse, but nobody was there to recover it. Not a very defensive t day for either team in this one. But it will be the Bengals against the Bills as the Buffalo Bills get a 35-21 home win against the Indianapolis Colts. So there you go. Your AFC title game is set. It will be the one seed versus the two seed. On the opposite end, the Rams, the seven seed, upsetting the Green Bay Packers. They have now beaten the two seed and the one seed in a row. Rams going on a magical run right now. Panthers do win at home over their rival Saints 28-21. to wow, How fitting would it be if both of our franchise teams could play each other in the Super Bowl? Do you think that's going to happen? Let me know in the comments section below. Score predictions for these two games, these two championship games. You let me know. Make sure you're dropping a like on the video. It really does help push these videos. Every like counts. Every subscribe button counts, and every comment counts as well. I will see you guys on the next one. My Twitch and Discord in the description. Take care.